Hey everyone, it's Jeff. This week's topic is femininity, um, which makes sense because we already talked about masculinity a couple of weeks ago um, for us to bring the other side of the spectrum um, as a topic as well. I try to be as honest as I can in these videos, so um, had someone told me a year ago that I was feminine, I probably would have like started to cry and gotten extremely angry. Um, mostly because I was just coming to terms with coming out to my family um, and just wanting to be seen as male by the rest of the world. Um, that if someone had told me that I was feminine, um, it really would have put a rock in what I was trying to do. Um, what I didn't understand though um, was that you can be a man and be feminine just like a woman can be a woman and be masculine. Um, but due to all the pressures that society has put on people, um, it kind of marked something in my head where I didn't think it was possible. Um, but since being on testosterone, I've become a lot more comfortable with myself, um, allowing myself to portray myself in the way that I would like. Um, I do have feminine sides of myself, um, whether or not those come out as often as my masculine side uh, is another question, but um, <clears throat> I'm now allowing myself to be comfortable with having both masculine and feminine traits, um, because before um, I was really trying to get away from anything feminine. Um, I couldn't bear being seen as someone who is feminine. Um, and now, like, if someone thinks something that I do is feminine, like, I'm not going to take that to heart as much because I understand that, um, like, femininity does not equal female, just like masculinity does not equal male. Um, <clears throat> And a lot of people have already brought up really great points, um, so I feel like I'm not going to reiterate everything. Um, but again, with my beliefs, um, if you believe that something is feminine, then it's feminine. Um, for yourself, um, I don't like other people labeling um, other things for other people as masculine or feminine, because um, it's a really subjective thing um, that the person portraying themselves um, should be allowed to gauge that way. Um, but yeah, since being on testosterone, I've become a lot more comfortable in my body, and I've become a lot more comfortable um, allowing myself to portray different sides of myself. Um, I know that there are times where I have um, well, here, I'll give you a background story. Um, I am cleaning my room out, and because we're getting ready to put carpet in and all that fun stuff, and I'm finding um, old clothing and um, headbands and stuff, and I've just kind of played with it a little bit. Because um, I know before I was really forced into what society wanted me to wear um, because they wanted me to dress up and like everyone in town you had to wear makeup and all these bullshit ideas um, that I was really trying to break out of um, but I succumbed to their pressure in a way um, but now I'm, I'm kind of I'm playing around with things that I have had for quite some time. Not that I'm going to wear anything out in public, but I think it's interesting to um, kind of experiment a little. Um, experimentation for some people takes years to um, become comfortable with certain things, and I think experimenting with those feelings really helps. Um, so I mean, to me it's just kind of fun to let both sides um, come forth, and um, I hate that femininity is 
um, seen as a sign of weakness, and um, that, like, you have to be saved in that sort of way. Um, when there are a lot of strong feminine people in my life, like, fuck you society, in a way. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my video for this week. I'm sorry that it's been kind of jumping around. Um, I've been a little busy, but um, yeah, I hope that you all are having a wonderful week, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.